Oh my gosh, we got our savior. Our Michael Gallup issues are finally fixed. The answer to all the Cowboys issues is right here. Martavis Bryant. No, no, I'm not about to do this. <laughs> I'm not about to do this with y'all either. You see, this is why your boy is quickly becoming one of your favorite channels, right? because I'm gonna do the extra leg work to really give you guys the realistic view of how you should be looking at what is going on with the Cowboys and what they're planning on doing. We lost to Philadelphia, we're moving on from that. I'm not even gonna keep rehashing that. Obviously, if we see some foolishness being said about our quarterback and how he played this week, we're definitely going to address that. But, Martavis Bryant is being worked out for the Dallas Cowboys. I've seen people co-signing it. I've seen people excited about it. I've seen people taking a look at it and being like, oh, this could be a good move, including even Dez Bryant. Even Dez was liking this. He said he's quote unquote him apparently. All right, no disrespect to Martavis Bryant. If he does sign with the Dallas Cowboys, I'm gonna support him just like every other player with that star on their helmet. I'm gonna wish nothing for but the best for him. And I wish nothing but the best for him even if he doesn't sign with the Cowboys. But we gotta make sure our fans are looking at this type of move the correct way, bro. And I'm gonna just say this right now, if it does happen, I think that it's gonna have a very, very limited impact. And I think this could just be one of those Tavon Austin type of situations where we add another receiver that in the big scheme of things doesn't really add much to the overall picture of the offense. Where has Martavis Bryant been? He's been out of the league. He's been out of the NFL since 2019, guys. All right, so he's about four years removed from the NFL and the reason for this, and actually it's been since 2018, the reason for this is because he got suspended for marijuana three times in the NFL during the time where they were really cracking down on that. Now that they have softened their stance on marijuana as the league, you'll see teams taking chances on players that they probably wouldn't have touched prior to this happening, right? So he was uh, Stiller's fourth round draft pick, was suspended four games for a substance abuse policy violation in 2015, and then he was suspended again for the entire 2016 season after another violation, and then after being traded to the Raiders, he was suspended indefinitely in 2018, okay? so. One thing here, and again, I'm not trying to attack this man's character or anything. It's not about that. It's not about ripping down anybody. Everyone deserves a second, third, I guess, even fourth chance <laughs> in Martavis Bryant's case. But one thing about that is it shows a lack of discipline and it shows a lack of ability to be able to prioritize what's important and keeping the main thing the main thing. To me, when you are consistently in violation of workplace guidelines that you understand are in place and you make the cognitive decision to go against that and, and, and risk having your career being stripped away from you, especially when you're making millions of dollars and you're, you're, you're a talented receiver and you look promising and you look really good in Steelers offense back when he was playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're making these kind of decisions that shows a lack of discipline and that shows a lack of focus. I'm not really sure if those two things are something that you really want to introduce to your team. If he is still smoking marijuana now, is that going to be something that affects the way he plays? Does he play better on marijuana? I don't know. I've tried playing basketball a couple of times after smoking some tweeds, and I'm going to tell you right now, bro, I thought I was moving a lot faster than what I was in reality. <laughs> I'm going to just say that right now, bro. I thought I was out there just bopping them up, hitting threes all over the place, bro. And in reality, it probably took me 10 seconds to perform a single crossover. Real talk. As someone who may or may not have partaken, I'm going to say this, bro. If you smoke some good stuff, no, you're not performing better. Stop it. Stop it. You're not performing better. You're going to feel better. You're probably going to think mentally you're performing better, but no, you're not performing better, and no one can convince me of that. No, sir, not in the game when everything is happening in 1.5 to 2 seconds, and you're on a substance that's going to delay your ability to be able to kind of take information in and then be able to act on that information. Absolutely not. So just that in itself is kind of like, oh, okay, Cowboys. Now, obviously, I wasn't upset about y'all not doing anything at the trade deadline, but come on now, bro. You couldn't have threw somebody a, a, a third round pick or a seventh round pick or something to be able to pick up another receiver that you just want to be able to fill in a practice slot with? You couldn't do that, bro? Like, you couldn't pick up somebody that do doesn't have this initial issues popping up and hasn't been removed from the league in the last five years? And then... I actually did a little bit more digging and I found out what has Martavis Bryant actually been up to recently 
And I think that's the most important thing is it's all fine and dandy to be able to go back and look at his stats when he played with Pittsburgh and look at his highlights and be like, oh, he can bring this. I'm not about to deceive y'all like that. I'm not going to mislead you guys like that. Let's take a look at what Martavis Bryant has actually done since he's resurfaced as recently as 2023. This year, this spring, he played football for the XFL, a league you would think that he should be far superior than the talent that's playing there, meaning he should be a standout player, right? Not necessarily. If we actually take a look at his season totals for his XFL team, he played eight games. He only started six of those games. In six games, he had 14 receptions for 154 yards. Not very promising at all. On top of that, I was actually able to track down some clips of his debut with his XFL team. He dropped the pass that hit him right in the chest. And honestly, he just wasn't doing anything that just looked overly impressive. Only had like four catches for 28 yards in that game. So a lot of his work came in that one game. So that's 10 catches over the course of the next five games, essentially, guys. So if we take a look at the game logs for his XFL team, it actually shows a deeper and more concerning picture as well that the Cowboys definitely need to be keeping in mind when they're working out these type of guys, right? So... February 19th, Bryant secured four of nine targets for 28 yards in Saturday's loss to the Renegades. This was his first game. This was the clips that I was showing you guys. And then week two, he was probable with an illness. Okay, so he got an illness in week two. March 13th, Bryant brought in three or four targets for 43 yards in the Vipers 32 to 18 loss to the defenders on Sunday night. So again, he, he caught some passes and he was able to accumulate some yards, right? And keep in mind, he does have less than stellar talent throwing to him at the quarterback position as well. So that can make a difference. Here's the issue. March 14th, 2023, Bryant didn't participate at Tuesday's practice due to a knee injury. Ouch! A knee injury is kind of scary, especially when you're dealing with a 31-year-old receiver that hasn't been in the NFL and played at NFL game speed in five years. That's very, very scary. And he was actually inactive for the team's next game due to said knee injury. He did come back, however, the next game. So he might have had some kind of inflammation, some type of soreness. Again, something to keep an eye out for. Secured three or five targets for 30 yards and a 29 to 6 loss to whatever team they were playing. So obviously those targets and yards could have possibly been some garbage time yards. And then his last game, he really did anything in. Um, he caught one pass on three targets for 39 yards, guys. So he didn't have that stellar of a run with his XFL team. And to be quite honest, it wasn't like he was doing anything that should make the Cowboys fans be overly excited about this particular move. So do I think that Martavis Bryant is the answer for the Dallas Cowboys receiver questions? No, I think that they already have the answer on their roster. I think that giving Jalen Tobert more of the snap share, which it seems like they did that last game, it was closer to 50-50 between him and Michael Gallup. Giving Jalen Tobert more of that snap count, I think is, is one of the answers. I think getting Kevontae Turpin involved more to get his speed on the field is one of the answers. I think throwing the ball at Brandon Cook some is one of the answers. I don't think Brandon Cook got targeted at all in last night's game. I think that's one of the answers, right? I think using those other guys that you have on the roster right now would honestly be a better option than trying to bring someone like Martavis Bryant in. All right, but either way, appreciate you guys tuning in. Just wanted to hit you guys with this quick news flash type of video and kind of discuss with you guys this particular move and what that would mean for the Cowboys and why they need to stay away from this. I'm gonna be real. Me personally, I would stay away from this. I would focus on what we got going on and try to fix what's happening on the team right now. It's not a lot, a lot of encouraging things that happened in that Eagles game, but we do have some things we need to work on and I don't think bringing in another project is going to help that. I don't think it's going to help our cause up. But either way, appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish the best for Martavis Bryant, and I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with Dez Bryant. I do not think that this would be as good of a pickup as he may think it would be. You have to remember a lot of the times these players have personal relationships with each other, guys, so it's hard to take everything that they say to the bank when it pertains to um, that, this type of thing, when it, when it pertains to people trying to get jobs and stuff, right? But either way, until next time, Y'all know how we in these videos. How out them cows. Take away past. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still in ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still in boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! I'm still in boys.